Now it's time for hard thrusting news, because it's hard to find a news story where someone isn't getting screwed. You get up on your little screen and howl about America. Okay. And democracy. But I get to be on top. From NewRepublic.com. GOP senators say they support IVF, just not a federal law to secure it. America. By Grace Seegers. Paying lip service to protecting the procedure is the easy part, but not everyone is willing to back up their words with legislation. On Wednesday, Democratic Senator Tammy Duckworth brought forward legislation to protect access to in vitro fertilization, known as IVF, on the Senate floor. Duckworth attempted to approve the legislation via unanimous vice vote, a maneuver that requires only one senator to object to prevent its passage. That doesn't sound like the best way to pass some. Senator Cindy Hyde Smythe, or Smith, a Republican from Mississippi, blocked it on the floor. In the weeks since the Alabama Supreme Court issued a controversial ruling declaring that fertilized embryos inside or outside of the uterus are children. Um, let me read that again. Fertilized embryos inside or outside of the uterus are children. What you just said, everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. Okay. Leading IVF providers to halt operations across the state. Many Republicans have repeatedly expressed their support for the procedure. Despite being localized to one state, the court's decision has had political repercussions across the country, including for federal GOP lawmakers and candidates. It has furthermore seeped into national campaign politics. The National Republican Senatorial Committee put out a memo last week that encourages Republican Senate candidates to clearly and concisely reject efforts by the government to restrict IVF, arguing that the Alabama ruling is fodder for Democrats hoping to manipulate the abortion issue for electoral gain. Hey, in my opinion, if you do crooked stuff, don't complain when people think you're a crook. All right? But I'm the decider, and I decide what is best. Uh, Democrats have indeed seized upon the issue, as they should, pointing out that pointing out when GOP candidates have previously expressed support for fetal personhood. How come the census doesn't count them? If an embryo is a child, the argument goes, then IVF is inherently under threat. How come when there's a miscarriage, they don't have a funeral? Because it often requires discarding fertilized eggs that are not viable. Um, they're not viable. They're not viable. They're not viable. And not every egg makes it that far. Here's a little information from the National Institutes of Health that I found. How many fertilized eggs are lost during menstruation? Of those fertilized eggs, around 15% will be lost before implantation begins. Of those which begin to implant, only about half will implant successfully in the uterine lining. Of the half which do implant successfully, between one-third and one-half will be lost at the time of menstruation or menses. So the odds are against you in, in the first place. So I think George Carlin said something like, 80% of a woman's fertilized eggs are flushed once a month during those delightful few days she has. Yes! Yes! Oh, yeah! Can you feel that? Green, green, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, say no more. Oh. 